Okay, so we've introduced Cosec, Sec, and Cot, and from Core 2, we will remember that there are two trig identities that you need to remember, and for Core 3 and Core 4, these are essential, okay? Um, there is no excuse to not have them in your arsenal, okay? So tan x is sine x over cos x, obviously, right? And we also have that sine squared plus cos squared is 1. Okay? So there's no excuse for you not to know those. Um, now, from these, okay, if you... We, well, actually, before we do go on to the identities, let's quickly write up what cosec, uh, sec, and cot were. Okay, so cosec is 1 over sine, sec is 1 over cos, and cot is 1 over tan. And the other way of writing that would be because tan is sine over cos, 1 over tan is cos over sine. Okay, so you can replace cos over sine with cot. They're the same thing. So, if we begin with this identity, and we divide everything by sine squared, then I get sine squared over sine squared plus cos squared over sine squared equals 1 over sine squared. So sine squared over sine squared is 1. Cos squared over sine squared is cot squared, okay, from here. And 1 over sine squared would be cosec squared. So here is another identity that we need, okay? Now if we go back to our original equation, our original identity, and this time, instead of dividing by sine squared, we divide by cos squared, then we have sine squared divided by cos squared, we have cos squared divided by cos squared, and we have 1 divided by cos squared. So sine squared divided by cos squared will be tan squared. Cos squared over cos squared is 1. And 1 over cos squared will be sec squared. Okay, so we have two new trig identities. Okay. Now, you either memorise them because they are essential knowledge, we must be able to use them for core 3 and core 4, okay? But mainly core 3. You must be able to either memorise them or you can get to them using this process, by remembering this process. Either way, you must be able to come up with them in the exam. Otherwise, um, you will fall short. 